Welcome to the Muscle Bikes Workshop. My name's Mark and today we've got one of our tail tidies to fit to this Tenere 700. We're going to run you through all the steps start to finish. Now this particular bike's a 2022 model but these instructions go back to the start of this model which was in 2019. Before we get started let's go grab some tools. To finish the job you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of side cutters or scissors, a 4mm and a 5mm Allen key, a 10mm and 8mm socket, and if you have it, a T40 Torx bit will also be very handy. And then of course, you'll need either a ratchet or a T-bar to use the sockets. In the box, you'll find the card with the link to this video, a bolt pack with a number of nuts and bolts, washers and spacers, the tail tidy itself, and the base plate that the tail tidy mounts to. In the bolt pack, if you're using stock indicators, you'll find these two indicator spaces, a couple of countersunk bolts, two 10mm long M6 button head bolts, two nylon nuts, two nylon washers, and two aluminium washers. You'll also find a small number of cable ties. So now we've got everything we need to get started, we're going to take our key and remove the pillion and the rider seat. Next we take our 5mm Allen key and remove the two bolts holding on the rider seat. Next we need to remove these side panels on both sides. We do that by removing these three bolts with an 8mm socket. The process for removal is the same on both sides. Next, we need to remove this entire panel from the back of the bike. Remove the five bolts on top of the fairing using a four millimeter Allen key. Using your five millimeter Allen key or your T40 Torx, remove the four luggage bolts from the frame. Remove the black push pin from either side by pushing in the center of the pin. Using an 8mm socket, remove the three bolts from the underside of the fairing on either side. Now we've got all the bolts removed, we can spread the lower part of the fairing and lift it up and back to remove it from the bike. We can now undo the wiring for the rear fender. We're going to start by pushing this clip in and undoing it so that we can get a bit more room on these wires. We can then start unclipping all these four plugs. While we're here, we'll also just feed these out through the side here. With all of that work done, we're now ready to remove the rear fender. Remove these four bolts using your 10 mm spanner. The four bolts gone, we can now lift out this rear fender. Now we've done that, we can start assembling the tail tidy. Before we fit the tail tidy, we need to fit the brake light and if you're using the stock indicators, the indicators to the tail tidy. We're going to start by cutting off this little cable tie that's holding the wires for the tail light. Just be really careful when you do this that you don't snip the wires. 
We then need to remove these two nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. With those removed, we can remove the brake light. Next, we remove these two bolts using the five millimeter Allen key. And then lastly, this little bolt here using a eight millimeter socket. That then allows us to remove this bracket. We're gonna reuse this bracket when we install the fender eliminator. Remove the four bolts on the top here using your eight millimeter socket. This then allows you to separate the two halves. You'll need to feed the wiring through the holes here. Next, we can sit this piece aside and we're going to continue with this piece. We need to take this bracket and fit it to our tail tidy here. We'll take these two bolts out, again, eight millimeter socket. And that's the piece to mount the tail light. In your bolt kit, you'll find these two plastic washers. We need to sit those on top of these two bolts. You can then take the mounting bracket for the tail tidy and the tail light bracket, and we're gonna mount that in place here. Make sure it's straight and tighten those off. If you're fitting your stock indicators, we also need to remove those from the stock fender. Take your side cutters and cut these two cable ties. While we're on the front here, we're gonna remove this bolt. Again, eight millimeter socket. We then flip the unit over and we're gonna remove these three bolts here. We can then lift this panel out of the way which gives us clear access to these wires. We also need to snip this cable tie with the side cutters. Then to remove the indicators, we simply lift this bit of rubber up and pull out the keeper plate. You can then pull the indicator through. Feed the wiring through. And we have the indicator. Now, when we mount these indicators to the tail tidy, we need to make sure that we fit the same indicator to the same side. Now, before we fit this indicator, we just need to put one of these spacers on. Just check the orientation and then feed that through there. And then we'll just pop that on through that way. We then fit it to the tail tidy in the same process. Then we just feed this keeper plate back 
and pop that one back in place. And of course, we then need to do the same with the other side. We now also need to fit this plug to the LED bolt here. Unfortunately, this product isn't plug and play. Now, we've done a separate video, which you can see up in the corner here, that will show you how to do that. When you cut this plug off, be sure to leave plenty of material. Next, we're gonna fit this tail tidy to the mounting bracket. Before we do that though, we're gonna fit some cable ties. Take the cable ties from the kit and feed them through these four sets of holes. We're gonna start from underneath with these two. And then the other two sets will start from this side. We can then take the tail tidy itself. Now that's going to mount together like such. So we need to take this wire here, feed it through that hole. And this wire here feeds through this hole here. And then feed those through. And they mount together as such. Just make sure you haven't trapped your LED bolt wire here. We can then take the two countersunk bolts and the two supplied nylocks and put those through here. And then do those up using our Phillips head screwdriver and our 10 millimeter socket. We now need to tidy up this wiring. So we're gonna feed these through here and do up these cable ties. Make sure they're nice and firm. And the same on the other side. Then we'll just take our side cutters and trim these cable ties off. Turn the whole assembly around and route all the wires up into this top corner here. And again, we'll use the cable ties to keep the wiring in place. Once again, we'll trim the ends of the cable ties off. The last thing to do before we go to fit the tail tidy to the bike is we're going to take this metal bracket that we removed earlier from the stock fender. We're just going to sit that underneath here. And we're just aligning these two holes here with these two holes on top. And we take the two 10 mil long bolts that came supplied in the kit and put those in here to mount the bracket to the tail tidy. We're not gonna do these up all the way, we're just gonna do them enough that it holds the bracket in place. We're now ready to fit the tail tidy assembly to the bike. We're gonna need two of the original fender mounting bolts and these aluminium spacers 
that came in the kit. This is going to be a bit tricky and you're probably going to need a few hands to do it. We're going to feed these bolts through the bottom here and then place the washer over the top. We're going to do this on both sides. We then, these are the rear bolts by the way, we then lift this assembly up to the bike, feed those bolts in and initially we're just going to try and get the thread started. There we go. We then need to lift the whole tail tidy up and just make sure that those aluminium spaces that we put on there are sitting over the top hat washers. Once we're confident they're in the right place, we can do these bolts all the way up. With that, the tail tidy will now stay in place. With those in place, we can fit the other two bolts to the back of the tail tidy. We'll use our 10mm socket to do those up. Use the 4mm Allen key to do up these two bolts. We can then take the wiring and feed it behind the fairing here, back to where the plugs are. Now we're ready to fit the brake light. We take the brake light with these two pads on top and put that into place. And then take the two original nuts and do them up on the back. And then take the tail light wire and just run that down to the plugs as well. Reconnect all the plugs for the indicators, tail light and number plate light. The plugs are colour coded and are individual types of plugs. So you can only get them the correct way around. As long as you don't force anything and get black to black and grey to grey, you should be fine. And then we're just going to feed all the wires into this clip and push that clip down to seal it off. Now we have the tail tidy and the brake light reinstalled. We're just going to take our key, turn on the ignition and just check that all our lighting is operating correctly, that the indicators are on the correct sides and very importantly that the brake light's working and operating. Now that we've done that, we can continue to reassemble the bike in the reverse order that we took it apart. And we're going to start with the white fairing, or in this case it's white. We're just going to put that back in place and just remember to line this little tab up with the tab on top of the brake light here. We then just continue to put all the bolts back in place until we've got the bike back together again. It's worth after a few rides just going over all the nuts and bolts that we've undone and just checking that they're still tight. Before we refit the rider seat, if you want to make your rider seat quick release, a quick tip is to take these little top hat washers out of your seat and just turn them upside down. We're just going to put those in place like this. And that will now make your rider seat quick release. With the bike almost back in one piece, we can now fit the rider seat along with the pillion seat. And then all that remains is to fit your number plate. 
We hope this video has helped you get your product installed. And if you haven't yet purchased one, you can purchase one from mustardbikes.com where we sell this and a range of other accessories, not just for this bike, but other bikes as well. Don't forget to like us on our socials, like us on Facebook, tag us on Instagram. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Uh, which one do you push? Oh, the little... Did you push it?